Hi friends, today I am going to share with you um, a recipe for meatballs. And so we're going to start off with three pounds of meat. I like to make it in big batches because my boys, my husband and my son, are carnivores like you wouldn't believe. And Olivia really likes meat too. So um, I have to make a lot of meatballs when I make meatballs. Um, in here I have a pound of ground pork, a pound of pork sausage, and a pound of ground turkey. I add the ground turkey just to lighten it up a bit because I think if you use all pork it's just too rich. And I'm going to be putting on rubber gloves because I can't stand to touch raw meat. <laughs> That's a phobia. Not really a phobia. That's just a an issue I have. I just don't like touching raw meat. And there's no better way to mix up a meatloaf or meatballs than with your hands. So to this bowl I'm going to add two eggs an 8 ounce can of organic tomato sauce now these meatballs can be used for um, spaghetti spaghetti and meatballs or uh, the way I'm going to use them is I'm going to, going to be making a brown gravy to put these meatballs in. I'm also going to add some dehydrated onion. Now if you don't have this you can use a you know small to medium onion and dice it up fine but I like to use the dehydrated just simply because it's quicker and easier. I'm going to add some parsley and I don't measure any of my spices, I just dump them until they look good to me. Some granulated garlic. This I will be a little more careful with. That's probably about a teaspoon and a half. Some oregano, and I have it in this little container because I had to use the oregano jar for something else. I needed the jar. And then a little bit of garlic salt. Instead of just putting salt in, I like to use garlic salt because it adds more flavor. Some rolled oats. You don't need a ton. And some black pepper. About half a teaspoon. Then you just take your hands and you start mushing it all up. So by looking at this, I can tell it's going to need a little bit more oats and a little bit more parsley. So in this case, you would enlist a helper to come do that for you since your hands are gross. Travis, I need your assistance, please. Just come around here. Take the oats and dump some in. I'll tell you when to stop. That's good. And then take some of that parsley and dump some of that in and I'll tell you when to stop. One more. That's good. Thank you. And then take some of that onion that's in the mason jar there and dump some of that in. So that looks like a good consistency for making meatballs. So I'm going to go ahead and take these gloves off and I'm going to prepare the baking sheets and I will bring you back when I have the baking sheets ready. 
Okay, so I'm back and I have a clean glove on my left hand and then I have this uh, scoop that I use to make uh, muffins because I want to make some nice hefty sized meatballs. I've got a cookie sheet lined with some parchment paper here. And I would suggest that you line your cookie sheet with parchment paper because it will help in cleanup. You won't have to scrub your cookie sheet so, um, so much. I'm going to place the meatball in my hand and just kind of bounce it around to make it round. And then place it on the cookie sheet. Alright, I'm going to speed this video up now and get these meatballs finished. So that three pounds of meat plus the spices and whatnot made 27 large meatballs. Now if you were going to make itty bitty ones, it would make, you know, each one of these meatballs could probably make four of the little bite sized meatballs. But like I said, my family loves meat and so I wasn't going to mess around with little bitty tiny ones. I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees, I'm going to stick these in the oven for 20 minutes and then I'm going to check them for uh, doneness using a meat thermometer and uh, then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the rest of this meal and how we're going to serve these meatballs. So tonight in the interest of time I used this brown gravy mix that I had gotten from Vitacost um, as an organic mix and I also had Olivia whip together these instant mashed potatoes. So now I'm testing the meatballs and as you can see the temperature is going up and it goes up to 180 which is the temperature I like my meat to be at and they're nice and brown. I had them in for 20 minutes at 350 degrees and then I checked them and they weren't quite done so I raised the temperature up to 400 and left them in for another 10 minutes and they came up to that temperature. And now I'm just adding them to the bubbling gravy just to get them all nice and coated um, and so they can be served. Now I did hold six of them out for Olivia because she is not a fan of gravy. And this is Scott's plate. Uh, he had his with mashed potatoes and the gravy and meatballs on it and broccoli on the side. And his first bite was yum, yum, yum. This is really good. And then he also mentioned that mashed potatoes and gravy are a comfort food. And this is my plate. I had it with a sweet potato instead of mashed potatoes because I am trying to stay away from white potatoes. And I just had my meatballs on the side and also had broccoli for our vegetable. Thanks so much for watching friends. I hope you enjoyed this recipe for our meatballs with gravy and mashed potatoes. It is a family favorite and like I said my family is a carnivore and they really love their meat. So that uh, dish didn't last very long. We'll talk to you later friends. Bye bye.